Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, The A-List Review. I am your host, the Game Changer, Wes Troop, and I'm on vacation this week, so I thought it would be a great time to hop into the A-List archives and check out some of my older reviews. So this time we are going to hop into our mint flavored time machine and head back to the year 2019, which was a great year for film. And also, this is a film that I think is an underrated A24 film. My review of the 2019 drama, The Farewell, coming up now. Billy, an aspiring Chinese-American writer, has learned some life-altering news. Her grandmother back in China, who she has a close relationship with, has been diagnosed with terminal lung cancer and is only predicted to live for a few more months. Billy is surprised that the family has decided not to tell her grandmother what's going on and are all gathering in China with the excuse of a wedding to see her one last time. So what did I think of the farewell? I thought it's a fantastic comedy drama. It's based on the true story, or as the film says, based on a true lie from writer-director Lulu Wang's real-life experiences. The Farewell had its premiere at the 2019 Sundance Film Festival on January 25th, 2019, and released in theaters in the U.S. on July 12th, 2019. The movie has some very brilliant cinematography throughout. It's rather artistic and has some great style, which was a nice surprise. It's also worth noting that you should come prepared to read. I didn't realize that about 90% of the film is spoken in Chinese and subtitles are present, which wasn't a huge deal for me, but I know that can be a deal breaker for some. The score is tremendous as well, and it's one of the most memorable I've heard all year. I also discovered a lot while uh, here, as well as dealing with the Chinese culture and finding out it's a tradition that the family doesn't let their older loved ones know about their time they have left so that they can remain happy in their final days. Of course, we learn more about other traditions as well leading up to the wedding. The film is very emotional throughout, and as I have a very close relationship with my grandparents, so it hit me very hard in the feels, especially with the touching moments between Billy and her grandmother. It's also interesting to see the other family members dealing with the situation in different ways and start to question if they should say something to her about her illness as they start to struggle with the secret. I laughed out loud more than I expected to, as there are some very funny moments thrown in to give us some breathing room. The film really gets the tone and blend just right. There's also a number of intriguing conversations and arguments between the characters during the celebration, dealing with Chinese versus American culture. The characters are all relatable, felt real, and while there's a number of them, all had a reason to be in the story. Aquafina gives a fantastic performance here as Billy Wang, the struggling writer who goes to China to say goodbye to her grandmother one last time. It shows that the actress can do great work with more serious material as well as comedy. Also in the cast, Sai Ma as Hai Haiyan Wang, Billy's father, not sure that if she should go to China with them, Diana Lin as Lu Zhan, Grand, uh, Billy's mother, who begs her to keep the secret, and Zhao Shuzhen as Nai Nai, Billy's caring grandmother who's thrilled about the family coming together for the wedding. The Farewell is a relatable, entertaining, heartfelt, and smart film that has something to say and was one of my favorite movies of 2019. Number-wise, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10, which gives it the A-list rating of... A-list approved. That's right, it gets the A-list. Seal of approval. All right, well, that's the show. I'll be back with another review very soon. But until then, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. Like the show on Facebook, Facebook.com slash West Troop A-list. And of course, you can follow me on the X Instagram, and Letterboxd, at Wes A-List. Until next time, 
Troop out.